Hey guys, welcome to another quick tutorial. In this video, we're gonna learn how to create a seamless wave pattern all in Adobe Illustrator. So I have a new document, 800 by 600 pixels, and typically what we might do is we might draw a line, and then let's thicken up that line. We'll then go to Effect, and we'll add a zigzag. There we go, Ooh, not that chunky. We'll have a nice zigzag line. We'll duplicate this down, we'll change the color, and then we try to line these up, and you'll see that we get these weird white gaps, and that isn't ideal, but there is an easy fix for this. So again, let's select the Line Segment tool, and instead of dragging, I'm gonna click, and I'm gonna enter a specific value. So I'm gonna go with 300 pixels, so I know exactly what values I'm working with. And let's make that black, and I'm gonna enter the stroke weight, as we'll go with 30 pixels, there we go. So I have a nice line. And now rather than duplicating this by dragging, holding Alt or Option and Shift, this is gonna be very manual and we don't want to eyeball it, we'd like a bit more precision. What I'm going to do is go to Object and Transform and select Move. Now we don't want to move this horizontally, so that is gonna be a zero. Vertically, we're gonna move this 30 pixels, which is the same width of that stroke, but, don't click OK because it will just move that line. Instead, click Copy. We now have two lines. And if I change the color of this one, you can see that they line up. Whoa, careful zoom. <laughs> Getting a bit carried away there. You can see they line up perfectly with no gap whatsoever. So there we go. We have a nice bit of mathematical precision, which is great. And now I can select both of these and press Command or Control G to group them together. And you might be tempted to do this duplicate down, or just repeat that same process of just moving and copying. But the problem with this is if I want to change all of these very quickly, I have to go and do it manually. So let's not do that. Let's just stick with these two lines. They group together, and I'm gonna go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and select Zigzag. Let's change that to Smooth. There we go. And I can increase the size. You don't wanna to go too crazy with this. There we go, that's a bit too much. We'll keep it around about 10. And four is fine for the ridges per segment, but you can make this a little bit more intense. In fact, if I do make this a bit crazy, we'll go with that. Obviously that isn't what we want, but if I click OK, the great thing is I can actually stretch this out and you'll see it does become a little bit more acceptable. Not quite though, so what I will need to do is go to the appearance panel. I've got mine docked on the right, but you can find it up here under the window menu. And I've got that zigzag effect listed here. So we're working completely non-destructively. And then I can just drop down the ridges per segment. There we go, we'll bring that down. We don't wanna to go too high with this because it will break the, uh, the illusion of everything being the same width and lining up seamlessly. So we'll go for something like that. And this is great. And you can extend this out to the sides and add as many ridges per segment as you would like, depending on how big you'd like your pattern to be. And I'm now gonna to go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and select one of Illustrator's most useful effects, Transform. Seriously, I use this all the time. It's great, it's very, very versatile. And because each line is 30 pixels, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to offset this, or move it, 60 pixels, which is the total height of that group. So there we go, 60 pixels. And now I can just increase the number of copies as many times as I like. Let's go wild, let's go for 50. There we go, let's make a giant pattern. And as you can see, it goes all the way down. And I can stretch those two lines. Remember, this is just two lines still with all of these effects applied. So I can stretch that out. Of course, it does stretch the, uh, the zigzag part of the pattern as well, but I can still change that. So I can go in here and I can just add more ridges and whoa, there we go. We still get a lovely pattern and the whole thing is totally seamless. Whoa, that is uh, that's a bit trippy on the eyes there. But the great thing about this again is because we're working with just two lines, so if I go into outline mode with command or control Y, we still have two lines here. So all I have to do to update the, uh, the appearance of these lines is simply select them with the direct selection tool. 
and then just change the color. So I'll go and pick a nice color for this one. Ooh, there we go. That looks lovely. So rather than changing all of the lines in this rather large and ginormous pattern, I only have to change two and then those effects do all of the work propagating that to the rest of the design. So there we go. That's how to create a seamless wave pattern in Adobe Illustrator. Take care and I'll see you next time.